Welcome everyone and welcome to anybody that's new. You will have to forgive my voice. I am under the weather and I don't sound the greatest, but I really, really wanted to get this video done so I could get it up for you guys. I'm feeling a little better now, so I wanted to do that. So I have a PR package from Daily Charm, my monthly PR haul, $200 usd value and i get to pick the items and i tend to pick new releases more than anything and a few other ones that i haven't shared before and i have my 10 percent off code which you can see up on the screen it'll be down in the description and each item i share i always put the links below as well so you can find them easily so if you're interested in seeing everything that i picked in this box and stick around and we'll get started So the first thing they came out with this not too long ago so it's a pretty new release and it's a brush for pigment and i do have their pigments they're really good pigments but anyway so this is for applying them i'll just take it out and show you a little better so it has really soft brushes i like it has a bigger side and then it has the smaller side which is perfect for pigment and i like the brush it's not too big and i like the crystals inside of course too but it's a perfect brush if you're looking for a good one next we've got some paper pieces for halloween and i'm just going to put them in a tray so you can see them a little better so there they are i just took a few of them so we've got bats and we've got, looks like some ghosts and some cats, just a bunch of different cute little paper pieces to add to a set of nails. Some more paper pieces. These ones are more for fall. And there those are, and there's some different sizes of leaves you can see in there, different shapes, really cute set of paper pieces. So going with the uh, paper pieces for fall, I also got some of these stickers and there's some, they're, well, they are gold holographic and there is some white ones on there too. I think with the white ones, you can take um, color and put it over like pigment or whatever to make them the color you want, if I'm correct. I think that's right, but anyways, they're really pretty. Now, with Halloween coming up, we gotta have some new Halloween stickers, and these are really cute. I like the webs and the fact that it has the spiders in black and white and the webs as well. And I wanted this because I'm going with a theme for Halloween and it's a big piece of foil and it's more of a lace design, I'd say, than anything. And I will be using it in this video a bit later so you'll see how big it is and what it looks like when it goes on. And another one, I'd say more of a Halloween theme, are these stickers, they're really cute black butterflies and I like the fact that it has little stars and the moon on there and it has them all in white as well it's a good idea so you got the black and you got the white and I made the mistake in order two of these as well but they will get used now I have a bunch of glitters but I'm going to show you the polishes first because the glitters tend to be messier and I like to do those at the end and I have quite a few to show you but loose glitters that is so I'll show you that after but I'm going to do the uh, gel polishes I got first I'll swatch them quick for you and then we'll get into those glitters so sticking with the Halloween theme now I have perfect black and daily charm already and it is the perfect black. It's one coat coverage. It's a really nice black if you're looking for one. And I won't swatch this one because black is black. I may be using it in this video later too. But yeah, it's a perfect black. So 
So the next one I chose was Ballerina and it's a jelly polish and I don't have this one yet and I have so many of their jelly polishes. They're my favorite. So I wanted to get this one as well. So I will do two uh, coats of this, 30 second cure on each. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's on the actual nail. It's a sheer polish, of course. It's kind of a pinkish sheer color. It's really pretty though. So let's get to watching that one. So there's one coat. And there is two coats. That's a really pretty sheer color. So this one is called a falling maple and it's 406. As you can see, it's like the perfect fall color. And there it is. And I decided just to do one coat because it covered so nice. Just a really nice full color. I really like it. Another one perfect for fall. 102 Caramel. You have to agree that's a nice fall color. Very nice. So there it is. I only need one coat. It covered really nicely, very opaque. I'm just gonna flick it in the light. And then I'm gonna show you some of the things I showed that I had in the haul earlier and show how well they go with these colors. So we've got the first color and look at how well those would go. Be really nice, this is a feature now. And even if you paired even if you paired these together and then had a feature nail, just a really nice fall set you can even use because it's kind of in the same family somewhat. You could use this as your feature nail color and these. I might have to do a set of nails on a client like this because it's really pretty. Also, I should show you. These would go really nice with this too. That's kind of why I got them. I just like pairing things together and then I can do sets on my clients that are gonna go really well together. I do have one more color or polish to share with you. I should do that before you think I'm done with them. This is a nice neutral. It's called Maple Cream 210. And again, this would go really nice with those as well. I'll swatch it and I'll show you them with this one. So there it is, a really nice neutral. So here are the colors together. They would go really nice. Any of them really together. Um, perfect fall nails, I'd say, if anything. It's nice to have that jelly color. I use them all the time as bases, but I'm looking forward to using these ones. And of course I did have the perfect black too, which I didn't swatch. So if you're looking for that black, that one is for you. So let's move on to all of the glitter I have. And I actually have another item there as well to share with you. So I don't have their lime chrome and I thought it'd be perfect for, well, any time of the year really, but for Halloween now. So I don't know if you guys have seen it before, but it's really nice. There's little glitter on it. That's just because it was packaged with the glitter. 
just kind of show you. See, it's really nice. If you don't have any of their chromes, definitely buy them. They're my favorite chromes. They go on so nice. And you have to get their chrome gel as well. And then you never will have any issues. They stay so nice and don't chip. So when I got the chrome, I wanted a glitter to match. And this is the perfect glitter. It is sparkling limeade metallic. Actually, we'll show you be careful these are very full and which is nice they fill them right up how pretty is that it's gonna go perfect with the chrome gotta be careful so i don't spill and then i had to get a couple um, more glitters for fall and halloween this is a perfect fall one or halloween for that matter and this one is Luminous Bronze Holographic. Let's open the seal. How pretty. Actually, I'm going to grab a couple of the colors to show you how nice it would go with them. Maybe that would go perfect with those. Look at that. Perfect match. Next, another glitter. I love their glitters. They're so nice. This one's more purple. And this is called Misty Night Iridescent. Open this one up. Oh, that's really nice. That would go really good with the lime chrome. I see it's got green in it too, so it's really pretty. It's a perfect Halloween set. Now they also have a set of Twinkle Flash um, glitters, loose glitters, and here they are. So this comes together like this, and I'll quickly show you them. I want to see if I can show you without opening them all and making a mess, because there's quite a few. But if, if you're looking for some Twinkle Flash glitter, definitely get this one, because it has a, such a variety of color. So this one, I can show you like this because it shows enough. This one's more of a bluish, I'd say maybe purple. So pretty. And I can dim the light just to show you too. Actually, I will dim the light after. I'll show you them first and then we'll show them with the light dimmed. And then a really pretty green. And then a really pretty gold. Another green, pretty black, kind of a peachy orange, another really nice gold, maybe more champagne, really nice, kind of light blue, I'd say more than anything, we've got Looks like a little brighter blue. Yeah, they're different. That one's brighter. This one on the left is not quite as bright. And then we've got a silver. And we've got a nice pink. And then now I'm going to dim the light. I'm not going to talk and I'll just show you.
Well, here's everything I received in this PR haul for the month of October. Love everything I got. I could do fall or Halloween nails with the items in this PR haul. Let me know what your favorite items are. And of course, I'm going to be working on a client's nails next in this video. So if you're interested in seeing that, then stick around. So this is a client where I did a fill, a hard gel fill. So now we're doing the art in color, of course. And the first color I'm using from the nail art haul is the perfect black. And I'll just need one coat of it. And I will grab my detail brush from Daily Charm just to do up by her cuticles, just to get nice and close without touching them. Because yeah, as you know, black can get on a dry cuticle and make a mess. So I like to use their detail brushes. They're the best ones I've ever used if you guys are looking for a good detail brush. But anyway, so that cured. I like to cure black a little longer to make sure it's a good cure. So now I'm taking the chrome gel from Daily Charm and I am just putting it on two of the nails and then they go in the light. I think the chrome gel is maybe 60 seconds. If not, it's 30 seconds. It just says it right on the bottle. I always look before I put it in just to make sure I get the right time. And then as you can see, I'm applying the lime chrome from this nail art haul and it goes on so nice if you follow the time for curing it went on quick and it covers so nice I just need the one coat of it just rubbing it in with my glove now and now I'm taking the foil gel from Daily Charm because I'm going to be using the fishnet foil you saw it at the beginning it's the black it looks like lace almost and I'm going to be applying it to that nail so that nail did cure but I wanted to apply the sticker from the nail art haul before I do that now and the butterfly stickers were perfect that's what she wanted Next, I'm grabbing the foil from the nail art hole, and of course it was that really big piece that you get. I just cut a piece off, and I'm rubbing it in really well. And a really big tip with the foil gel, wipe it with isopropyl alcohol after it cures, which I did, and I'm sorry I didn't show it, but I wiped it, and then it sticks so much better. So now rubbing it in, and actually it is like really perfect when I pulled it up stuck so nice so that's important to wipe it with that isopropyl alcohol and then I decided with the butterfly nail I just wanted a couple of the stars so applying those right now so I now have two more nails to do so I just applied a polish to the middle finger and the thumb because I need that sticky layer inhibition layer after you cure a gel polish and it cured for 30 seconds the color and then I take the glitter which is from this nail art haul the green glitter that I showed you and I take a stamper and as you see I apply it and then I just take a brush and rub it in this works so good it's the best tip of applying loose glitter to a nail it just doesn't make as big a mess it sits down nicely it just works really well as you can see so I make sure I get it everywhere and I'll push it down. And then once I'm done, I'll grab that brush again and wipe off any extra glitter that might be hanging on there. And then the snail will be ready for a top coat. And I will show you right away. I do file around the foil because it'll prevent chipping. So the top coat I'll be using, I'll have something to grab hold of. And I top coated them. And here we are. They are done. They are a really cute set of Halloween nails, something a little different. This client likes her nails shorter, but so cute. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks to Daily Charm for sending me the PR haul to share with you. And I'll see everybody in the next one.